Hello guys, welcome to Cobra Park Farm episode 31. Now here we are. I uh, haven't done anything else since last episode because I said carry on from where we stopped last episode. So today we'll be finishing, well, I believe there's about one more trailer full of wheat. And I will go sell that now. It's about 11 tons in it. So I'll be selling that now. Yeah, about 11 tons. So we're selling that now down at the bio thingy, plant, whatever you call it. Um, biogas power, I think it is. The one that's down close to our farm, anyway. And I've also found another way where we can get a fair bit of money. Basically, silage that I've got in the clump at the moment that's fermented. If I sell that at the biogas power plant, we should actually get a decent amount of money for it. So I think I'm going to sell all that silage because I kind of want two free clamps. So I can basically fill, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up about four, five, four, five, six fields, maybe all of them in fact with corn and do maize, put them in the clamps and I'll put, well I'll put grass in one of the clamps and then the maize in the other so it kind of or in fact just one of them just all in one so I'll be doing that and I'll put them in this clump here because I don't, I don't need them for food. I've got grass and well, hay bales and straw bales. That's all I kind of need. So I'll be doing that. Now I haven't got a decent, well, a decent sized grab for silage. So it's going to take a long time. So I basically am just going to be doing that this episode with the telehandler. Moving it down from Chantry. I'm going to come down through these fields anyway. Do that. Come and just tip it. Or I may even hire the wheeled loader that has a bigger bucket. Because I could do with that. So we've got £92,000. We'll have enough. And we'd have to collect that from the shop. In fact, I think I'm just going to leave this parked up here for now. I'm going to use this at some point, I think. So, I'm going to go for this bucket, which is 4,500. I believe I also had a mod for a bucket for a wheeled loader, but I don't know how much it could hold. That holds 6,000 litres. That's big enough. That's 8,000. It's a bit more expensive. I'll hire that for two hours. 25 quid, that's good. So that is now going to be down at the shop. I'm sorry about the length. It's starting to take to hire equipment. I reckon it's something with patch 1.3, I think the latest one is. The one that I put on here anyway. I think it's something to do with that and the higher mod crashing or oh, well, being slow but it is being rather it's being rather slow I don't I don't really understand why oh, in fact there we go I also want to hire the not the telehandler but the wheeled loader uh, the first one, this one has a lot more power than JCB, so I'll hire this for two hours as well. Thousand pounds. So they should be waiting at the shop. So here we are. We have the very nice wheeled loader. This goes 31 mile an hour as well. Looks well, faster than the. 
other, well, the telehandler. Because I believe the telehandler only goes 25, I think. And this grab, call it grab for now, anyway, um, unfolds like that. So it's got a lot more space to it. And hold six thousand liters of anything. Well, silage. That's all I'm going to be using it for. Six thousand liters of that, and I'm thinking it'll take us about eleven trips to finish to empty the whole plant. Which isn't too bad, but it's not the best either. I'd have preferred it if there was like a tip point where you could just shove a trailer full of silage onto it and just tip it there because I can have a trailer that holds silage. But we have to do it like this. I mean, it isn't too bad. We've got a new piece of machinery for two hours anyway. Can't really complain. It's also a very high quality piece of machinery. put beacons on, warn people this monstrosity. I mean if they can't see this huge yellowy orangey thing coming down the road they shouldn't really be driving. So let's unfold the grab, not grab, forks, whatever you want to call them. Alright, I have to move the telehandler out of the way. I will in fact tip this in fact can I no I was going to try and see if I can put any in the other and I do really like this telehandler I like it a lot more than the wheeled loader but the only reason I have the wheeled loader is because this hasn't got the bucket capacity of this huge amazing thing. It's gonna hold six thousand litres of silage. Or is it eight thousand? I know it's a lot. Uh, it's yeah, eight thousand litres silage, so we'll get this done and a decent amount of loads, not 11 I don't think, a lot less than 11 I think, but, oh we also have sheep, so we'll be feeding them at some point I think, this grab is huge, make sure that it's pointing backwards so it doesn't all like, tip off like it probably would have the tendency to. So, you can let me go. Thank you. It's also incredibly stable, this. I don't know how it's going to be in the field when we're driving through. Hopefully not too bad. I can have that all the way up there and it doesn't it's probably a tiny bit of weight distributed but you can't really see it in the axles but I do I, I in a way like this a lot more than the Libra one what number one well it's JCB it's not to like about that but it's kind of different and it, it looks a lot better. It's kind of more suited for British farms. And that leave uh, one other farms that are not British. So American farms maybe. But still, great piece of machinery. Also, I've seen that there has been a New Holland DLC. It's a free one that will be released on... Thursday the 25th of June 
that's going to be released then and it has basically it's basically a reskin of the Leaper Telehandler into a New Holland one and a New Holland wheeled loader. There's also another DLC that's been announced, the New Holland Forage Harvester, I think. That it looks a lot like the Crone one, but I've been told there's quite a few differences with attach well attachments and other stuff like that. It's kind of nice. Can't see. And it's nice to see them bringing out a bigger range of machinery quite often as well. So see it. You can see the money going up there. One load gets us about twenty-five grand for one load. So you can see why I'm kind of wanting to do maze and stuff like that. So I'll put it all into that clamp and just basically do all the fields around this biogas plant. It's folded up. Another thing as well, I'm starting to get a lot more used to this articulated machinery. So I wasn't a huge fan of it. But th that JCB TM320S is brilliant for stacking bales and doing stuff like that. It's small as well, so it means it can fit in the cow sheds and stuff like that. <clears throat> and pl li little places that you wouldn't expect a huge telehandler to get into. It's articulated, so it articulated sorry so you can get round corners easier why isn't this going 31 can we get it to 31 yes we can so I hope you guys are also looking forward to the Yoro Truck Simulator 2 series that will be starting on Tuesday that what well, well for a start, one thing I want to say, I've chosen to do option B, and if you can't think of the last episode, last Cobra Park Farm episode, I, I said what well, the options are. Well, option A was start completely from scratch. You see, that takes time to actually get enough money to buy, like, the worst truck. So I've decided, uh, for, uh, well, option B was to start with £200,000 and get a truck. Option C was edit all the money and XP to get the best truck. I've, I'm going to choose option B simply because we get started off a lot quicker and it's a bit more realistic for kind of a trucking company because you, I don't know, it just seems right to be, to be doing that. So get in here for our second load. There is 8% in that silage camp left. So option B, to start off with £200,000 and get a truck, that's what I've chosen. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose a Scania and start off in London, but I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys yet. Also Multiplayer Mondays on Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to do a Multiplayer Monday kind of series, mini series on Euro Truck. That's gonna be, well, quite a lot of the episodes are gonna be the same trip. So, episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4, maybe 5, 
will be the same convoy because I'm going to do it with CCG Gaming and if we're going to do a convoy I'll record an, an episode, the episode will be about 35 minutes long so I don't know, we may get it down to 3 or 4 episodes and we, we'll go to start off in London if I can't find it, if we can't find trailers in London that go to the same city, we're gonna go basically go across to maybe Dover, Felixstone, and find ourselves a trailer that goes to the same place. Hopefully, somewhere quite far away, because number one, you get a lot of money for it, and number two, you also kind of have bigger choice of what, what I can do in the episode because we, we there's Hatch put in Eva J that will be coming on so basically we'll be doing a convoy to somewhere like Bratislava somewhere down that region on the east I think it's a go and eat DLC that we all have that lets us go there. So we'll be going along there. The roads are also a lot quieter down on the country roads and they're nice as well. So it makes for a good mini series doing for a start one convoy down there. Twenty five thousand pounds there again. thank you to all the subscribers nearly 250 subscribers now so thank you to all the subscribers uh, my aim is to get to a thousand as you probably see from the channel that a thousand would be my goal and I managed to get quite a few, I'm hoping I'm going to get a lot more subscribers from the Yoru Truck series as well and if, if you wanted to see that, please let other people know. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, places like that. Because it really does help. Although it may not look as if it helps for you guys, it helps a lot for me. Because the more traffic we can get onto the channel, means kind of the wider variety of games, stuff like that, we can do. Well, I can do. So I'm looking forward to the Yoru Truck series, as you probably guess. some screenshots there maybe use some of them as the thumbnail for this video and also do you like the custom thumbnails if you if you do please say because they can't I got, I got quite a few requests for them over I got a few over FS UK and a few comments on YouTube that kind of asked me could I do custom thumbnails and in a way it helps me because oops anyway um if if you're gonna watch a video quite often you go with one with like a custom thumbnail or a thumbnail that appe appeals and looks good so i think it's episode 20 something like that maybe maybe something before that around that area anyway i, was, I kind of got my act together and decided to do custom thumbnails, which I don't know. It it seems to have a more professional look to the videos than just something automatically created from YouTube that gets put up there because nothing else can. So yeah. We see right, so we have seven percent left in that. 
it was about 42,000 liters. Let's just try and calculate how many. Trips we will have to take. Oh, that's bad. I don't want to lose anything out of that bucket. Apparently, we will have to take about six trips after this one. So, I will be doing all that off screen if I can't get it finished now. And if I had cosplay, yes, I would set up a course to move everything from that side of the pit to the big hopper things. I don't know what they're called, actually. If you know the name, please tell me. I've always wondered what they're called. I don't actually know. I've never really used them. But as you can see here, it's a good way to get money. We're at 142,000 here. We've, we've just made 50 grand from 16,000 litres of silage. That's, that's a good price. I think I can show you the price on down there. Silage. £3,204 per litre. Per thousand litres, I think it is. Probably be looking at where I'm going, not that PDA. Oops, I'm gonna be going forward. Ooh, that's nasty. Still check. So new vehicles, twenty four grand. Livestock, fifteen point seven one nine thousand pounds. Property maintenance, four hundred and fifty one pounds. Another thing as well, I'm thinking of getting greenhouses on here. I'm gonna leave it for now though. But if you'd like to see greenhouses being done, because that adds an extra aspect to an already brilliant game. And get wind turbines as well. Maybe not wind tur turbines, they're a bit expensive, but some some of those placeables that earn you money for very small maintenance. Apparently we have 21,000 litres of manure. We're getting a Ooh, that's bad. That's annoying that when it just doesn't set itself back to here. If you'd like to see greenhouses in this series as well, doing the I think it's greenhouses, beehives, stuff like that. Put in the comments what you'd like to see. There's many things I could do on here. A forestry as well, if you want to see something like that on here. So, I mean, we're starting to get into the decent amounts of money now. We could. The logs get a lot of money. I know that. It'd just be buying some of the machinery to cut them down and move them. I mean, we've got, already got a chainsaw, so. I've also got a work basket, I believe, that goes on the telehandler to chop parts of the trees off and stuff like that. So I could do that. 
We've got enough tractors. I think we just need that trailer with the kind of grabby thing on it. The crane. To be able to do the moving and that of logs. I think I'll use a Unimog. I won't do any wood chipping, I don't think. Although it does get a decent amount of money, I think I'll just store the logs maybe in the shed. In the sheds, maybe. Leave them there. And sell them when the price. Oh, uh, where did you come from? When the price gets higher. Or oh, oh, there's a great demand. Because it does add. It's. Well, off screen. I do quite often do a bit of forestry on other maps. I haven't done any, any recording on that. But, I mean, I could do it on this map because there's a fair few forests where you can actually just purely do forestry. I mean, there's one not far from here. It's, it's through the cow field, through another field or two. And there's a dirt track that goes into the forest. Ah, uh, we're getting some wool here. I have to get some pallet fox in to be able to move it. So we'll have about 30... Well, we've got 34,135 litres of silage left in there. will be I will in fact just cut grass fields and and every time we cut grass fields use the forage wagon to and put it in that silage clamp at the biogas so I can let that ferment and then I can just maybe get cost play set up a cost so just constantly put the contents of that into the hopper things that I don't have a name for to put it in there then we get a fair amount of money. May also get around to buy one of these bad bots. The wheeled loaders. They can be useful. And use it for clamping and stuff like that. I think the in-game weight of them actually speeds up the clamping process. You're doing that. Turn the lights on. Oh, that switches direction. And I will be using the steering wheel for your truck for you guys that are wandering. I think one day when I get around to do it, I'll do a whole computer setup tour. If you'd like to see that, put it in the comments. So I think I might do one of them kind of videos. Camera just records the whole computer setup and what I use. You can see it. Oh yeah. Other people have put setup tours on because they like people like to see what you use. I can't, I can't really describe quite a lot of the stuff that I use. It's just generic kind of stuff. I'll describe everything and tell you what I use. Clear up my desk a bit though first before I do that. So, close to 200 grand now. That's fairly decent. So 
say we're going. I reckon we could or we'll be lucky if we get about 250 grand for all of this. Well, by the end of it, we have that 250 grand. Because if we do, I will do forestry. I'll buy some forestry equipment and we can do some of that. So I'm not really in a rush to plant these fields again. I think I might uh, do field five with grass and then have those two grass fields that I can cut and that straight after each other put them in the clamp. I may just leave it doing maids or something like that. But I will be utilising the fields a lot more. I may even buying some more fields. Could, uh, probably maybe field 10. Yeah, field 10 that's straight across the road from when we get out of this road the field across uh, maybe by that field at some point and buy some more fields maybe 18 no not 18 sorry 17 16 those fields could be done with maize and fill up a clamp or and help towards getting more money I'm sorry if this episode's been a bit boring. It's just moving silage. But that's all I could really that's all I could really do for this episode. It's just moving it because I I d I don't want to do it off screen, I want to show you guys a bit of what I did. So here it is. I'm not going to get all this done this episode, so I'll just finish it off screen. I think not much left, but still a fair amount. There is 4% left in this clamp. I don't want to fold that up. Once I've sold all this, I will return. Well, once I've sold it all off screen, I will return. Wheeled loader, grab, grabby thing, forks, whatever you want to call them. And the next episode, I will be buying some forestry equipment. If you, if, what kind of forestry equipment would you like to see me buy? Whether it be the huge Scorpion King, maybe take a loan out the bank to get that. I know that would be nice, but I'm not. I don't want to take a loan out of the bank. I'd, or and then, ooh, that's bad. Or do you just want to see me use a chainsaw, do it the old-fashioned way, and maybe get? Hang on, there, guys. Stop it! There is a fat. Just drive it through this field. Or do you? Uh, which I kind of prefer getting. Where is it? That trailer instead of something like the Scorpion King and Buffalo. I want to get that trailer to move it myself because it. Nah, yeah, just be easier. Indicators wrong. Don't want that one. So guys, come to the end of the episode now, I will finish all of this off screen. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. So, hoping to get to 1000, but first off let's try and get to 50. I believe we have something like 46 at the moment, 46 subscribers, so thank you if you're a subscriber. And don't forget to share this video, like, comment and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time, cheerio.